Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have ourselves a loading screen and a bunch of leaks for Road to the Knockouts. I want to take a look at all the information that we have and even the Champions League official Twitter page is going to be revealing players to us today on Thursday of what players are going to be in this promo. Of course, we do have leaks. We know a couple players that are going to be in and we are guessing we know some others based off of some gold cards that have started to spike in prices people have invested. So I want to take a look at what's going on in the market with Road to the Knockouts, how that can impact things in the next day or so before it drops, and of course, look at Once to Watch cards. We've got a big day of Rivals rewards ahead of us and a one last Once to Watch SBC in the name of Raheem Sterling that should be dropping today as well. So there's a lot to talk about. The market is moving. Some cards going down. Some cards kind of staying stagnant. It was a little tougher to make coins yesterday we were able to do it but i want to talk you through how the market changed yesterday as well and how it could change even more today with everything going on so if you're excited for the video you know what to do hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new let's talk about that loading screen and the car design first if you saw the loading screen yesterday around the content drop as we saw it on the twitch stream we were live streaming cheeky plug link in the description we saw a different car design they actually showed the the loading screen with the road to the final car design on it first then they fixed it to show the correct design if you take a look on the actual Champions League Twitter account, they said, they tweeted this yesterday, head back tomorrow at, basically this is 6 p.m. UK, 1 p.m. Eastern, content drop time, whatever it is for you. They're going to be releasing some of the first player items that are going to be in the Road to the Knockouts promo. And this is the actual car design. I think this car design is freaking clean, man. I think it's great. I'm a big fan. It's different than last year's, and it's very different from the Road to the final car design. One thing we always ran to in into last year was that the road to the knockout and the road to the final car design looks so much alike that we couldn't tell the difference between them sometimes and we got them mixed up, right? It's going to be easier this year because the cards are completely different colors. This one's more blue. I'm a big fan. So that's the car design. We're going to get official players announced today via the Champions League Twitter account. So definitely tune in the stream. We'll be looking at this and checking it out. Now, what is Road to the Knockouts? Well, Road to the Knockouts is basically EA's way of splitting Road to the Final into two promotions so that they can make a little bit more money and sell some more FIFA points. Uh, so they do a road to the knockouts where players get upgraded during the group stages. Then they do road to the final later on in the spring as we get towards the knockouts of the Champions League and the Europa League and the Conference League and stuff like that. So last year what they did was they released these cards and they had two potential ways of upgrading. Of course, if they qualify for the knockouts and if their club um, won a certain number of games from the remaining group stage matches. Now last year it was three wins out of four. This year with the way the calendar is, uh, whatever cards they are going to release, there's not even four weeks left. There's only three weeks left uh, starting next week. So it's kind of like EA's dropping this promo like at the last second when they have to. So I would imagine that it might be if a club wins two out of their last three games or something like that, or maybe they'll even make it easy in one out of the last three, but there should be a potential for all of the cards that are released in this upcoming team to get two upgrades, right? The initial boost on the card will get an upgrade, right? Like, you know, last year's son was an 89 or an 88 or whatever. He got a plus one to the 90. And then of course had potential to upgrade after that based on the criteria they would have to hit to upgrade. So, um, that's kind of the thing there. Of course, Sun didn't upgrade last year because, you know, bad things happened. But anyways, that's that. Um, so we do have cards that are leaked already. And, and th this promo is really hype because it gives us live and updating cards. And it'll actually be our second promo in a row with live cards, right? We just had ones to watch or we're ending OTW. And those cards are upgraded based off of player performance and now with the team performance with the wins to watch. But the Champions League upgrades just hit different, right? Because all these games that we've been watching the past two days of Champions League, they technically don't have any cards that upgrade. There's no like correlation from foot uh, to the IRL games. But after this week, that's going to be there with this Road to the Knockout promo, which is pretty sick. So these cards are always really nice and fun to have in game. And usually Road to the Knockout brings some really, really good content. Last year we had the Bernardo Silva. We had the Fakir. Those were both a part of the Road to the Knockout promo. So should be a pretty good week of content upcoming as well. Now, like I'm saying, these cards, the ones that we have leaked right now, 
they're pretty big names. And I'm going to take you through all of the leaks that we have. And we're going to take these with a grain of salt. And I'm going to talk about leaks in this way. I don't really enjoy leaks because it does take the surprise factor out of everything. But again, if we ignore leaks, we are not doing the best market content that we could possibly be doing because we would be ignoring a lot of movement on the market because leaks move the market a ton. So let's take a look through a few of these cards. First off, this is by Arcade Foot. We take these leaks with a grain of salt again, but leaks have not been incorrect at all this year. They've all been spot on and they've been earlier than ever. It's, it's kind of crazy how serious the leaks have gotten even this year in FIBA 23. We've gotten a Bamiyan card that has been leaked to be in road to the knockouts. That's your Chelsea card. We have also got a Phil Foden, which of course people pointed to him not getting in team of the week as the pinpoint of why he was not in team of the week. Of course, he's getting this road to the knockouts card. And then these two leaks right here are massive, man. Lionel Messi is coming into the road to the knockout team. EA Sports says, okay, nobody wants to use Messi's gold cards, so we're just going to give him a bit of an upgrade. Hope he gets a few more upgrades as PSG win. Um, and then, you know, give him a live card. So GG's to EA Sports. This is pretty insane, getting a Messi card uh, in packs through a promo already. Then uh, Foot Sheriff also leaked Valverde, which a lot of people, a lot of people are saying, uh, that this Valverde card makes no sense. Why in the world are they putting Valverde in the game when they've already given him an inform and he's already got the player of the month and stuff like that? Of course, people that already did the player of the month are now looking at this Road to the Knockouts version and they're like, man, why did I do the player of the month? Because now my car is not going to be the best one out there. Here's what I have to say about this. Number one, you know, this whole player of the month and the inform thing, that's performance based in the last short term time span. This, you know, road to knockouts of Valverde, just thinking about from an EA standpoint, they probably planned to have this guy in the promo like a couple months ago before they knew that the season was going to start and he was going to play pretty good. So that's kind of the way that the cookie crumbles right now. I know that's like, this is boring. Cho choose a different player, EA Sports. What are you doing? But, you know, that's just kind of how it falls. It is crazy, though, that we've had three special Valverdes, though, and the game has barely been out for, like, two weeks. So that's pretty nuts. You know, I wouldn't write off this Federico Valverde Player of the Month just yet because, again, like I said, and as we'll look at some prices from last year's cards here in a second, these guys aren't cheap, right? Road to the knockout cards, road to the final cards are always pretty expensive, especially for the clubs that are expected to go far, right? You think about even this Phil Foden card that is leaked. He's probably just going to be so much more expensive because you're going to have the potential uh, for City being favorites for going so far in the competition and then most likely to get wins because they're just tearing apart every single opponent that plays against them right now, especially with Holland scoring like three goals every game, a hat trick every game. So that's going to you know impact Foden's price, probably going to impact Valverde's price as Real Madrid, of course, look great. They're trying to defend their Champions League run from last year. So, you know... That's going to impact these prices a lot. So those are the leaked cards that we have right now. Now, also, there's been some other movements on the market with not confirmed leaks, but I know a lot of you guys, we were in the stream yesterday and we were looking at some of these prices that were shooting up really fast on the market. So we think we might know some other leaks and it's been talked about. I've seen other people post about them, but it's not really official yet from other leakers. Um, Rafinha, we believe, is in the road to the uh, knockouts team. His card went from like 40,000 coins to 43. Now it's back down a little bit. Um, you know, all of these gold cards, when something gets leaked, since it's the early game, and especially uh, for a high tier meta card, like Messi, man, Messi's going out of packs. Think about it on Friday, tomorrow. This guy's going out of packs and he's barely up like 10,000 coins. If you want a Messi for your team, even though Messi this year has the low, low work rates, doesn't exactly fit the meta for everybody, this is a GOAT card and this is a card that people are still chasing after and trying to get in their ultimate team, you know, over the first couple weeks of the game. This to me is a solid buy. If you want it for your team, I think you'll see his price rise over the next couple of weeks, maybe even upwards of like 50 or 60K, uh, but especially this next week when he's out of packs, I think that's going to impact his price a decent amount. Um, he went from like 300K to 340. Now he's back down to 300,000 coins. So some other cards that we think are in based off of prices moving. Teo Hernandez, which is kind of crazy to think about this dude getting a promo card. But Teo Hernandez was like 93,000 coins or even maybe even a little below that. Uh, and he went all the way up to 100K. Now he's back down to 93. People investing off of those leaks. Again, we, those leaks are not confirmed yet. Those are just likely because people saw them. They started buying players. I really, I don't try to put too much stock in a leak. 
um, until we see guys that are trusted leakers put that information out there. So again, we take all leaks with a grain of salt, but that's kind of what we saw happening on the market yesterday. And we saw, we saw those cards move. Now, if you invested in any of these gold cards, like let's say you bought gold Foden, um, you know, Foden's probably in the team, right? We've seen the leak. He's been posted. He didn't get in team of the week. It really makes sense. His gold card went from like 28,000 coins up to like 30, 31 K 32 K. Again, this is still a card that's, you know, usable pretty early on in this game a lot of people might be using him and since he's a usable card that's going out of packs we would expect it to rise that's just how the cookie crumbles look at all of the gold cards that were out of packs for once to watch or the last team of the week the most meta ones like rudiger like holland you know um, lewandowski those types of guys we've seen go up the most these guys that are meta you know valverde's gold card going out of packs again messi's gold card you know Foden, i would include in there too these guys are going to go up in price because they're just used a decent amount in this game. They're higher rated and, and people want to use them in their team. So that's what I would expect for those gold cards. But that's, you know, uh, you know, pretty, uh, pretty common. See that pretty often. Now, last thing I want to talk about with Road to the Knockouts before we move on to kind of Thursday market for today. These cards usually do perform very well over time. And I just want to put that in your guys' minds is, you know, this is going to be a big promo for the fact that people will upgrade their teams to put these cards in them and they will buy these cards, hopefully to invest in them because this is just one of the live item promos that drops during the year where the prices usually do pretty well. Take a look at Robertson's card from last year, which by the way, Footbin, I, I can't like if I click on Marquinhos, I get an error, man. Why are all the FIFA 22 prices down? I don't understand. But Take a look at this Robertson card. In just a week's time frame, he went from 177,000 coins to 290, basically 300,000 coins in a week. He almost doubled in price. He was a part of the mini release, so he was a bit more rare. Um, Rodrigo's card as well, right? This is the Rodrigo. He went from 230 all the way to 280, 290 in one weekend. So there's definitely going to be potential for a lot of these road to the knockout cards to have some rises after they go out of packs. We're expecting it to be one team this year, just like ones to watch. And of course, you know, we don't know how World Cup is going to impact the market in the next coming weeks. I still would think that these cards with the Champions League games happening next week as well, potentially impacting or maybe even securing some of these guys as upgrades um, later this next week when they're in packs, of course, for the upcoming promo, not these cards here, but for the upcoming road to the knockouts, you know, the prices are probably going to be starting low ish in the earlier parts of the week. And then for, you know, depending on what cards it is, of course, depending on the content, I just expect a lot of these cards to keep rising up in the future. So that's kind of there. Um, they also, I just saw earlier tonight, they added this new special item to the code. It's a swap token, but don't get your hopes up because I believe it's the FGS swap token, which is like, you know, the least hype swap token. That's the one where you watch the pro events, get the token, turn it in for packs. It's not like a swaps program, uh, for road to the final. So don't get too hyped about that, but that's there. And again, this is the actual, I think this is the legit road to the final car design. I don't know why it's still in the game, but that's where we saw some of those leaks posted on this car design, but the actual design is that blue one. So we will see an updated loading screen today on Thursday, I imagine. And of course, those official posts from the UEFA Champions League website. So we'll be looking at those on stream today for sure. Now, until then, there's a lot moving on the market right now. I want to talk about division rivals rewards. Now, as I am sitting right now, in division seven on the cusp well i'm on a two win streak i would love to get division six before rewards hit tonight but probably not going to happen um you know today's a big question mark of a day because now you have Messi leaked you've got valverde teo hernandez this team of road to the knockouts looks pretty insane and now it's got us thinking hey you know do we take packs and save them today instead of opening them. Uh, of course, the first question you're going to have to decide is, am I taking the tradable or the untradable? And, you know, this year for me, I think I'm going untradable week two, especially after what happened last year on week two of Rivals when I took the untradable packs and I packed mid R9. Not expecting anything near remotely close to that happening this year, but I'm going to take the untradable rewards. I feel like I have enough coins. I can trade. You know, we're, we're making that coin balance go up and up and up every single day. We're making positive moves. All is going well. Um, and it's not like, uh, you know, yes, it would be fun to have tradable packs. And I completely understand wanting to take tradable packs. I'm going to take untradable though. And I am actually going to start to save 
basically any pack from today. Uh, I'm going to save it for tomorrow, man. I really am because I did an objective yesterday. I, I got a 50K and a 100K pack. I opened the 50K. It was terrible. I'm going to save this 100K for tomorrow, for Friday, for Road to the Knockouts because, you know, some of the cards that they're showing, I think I'm more hyped for those than the ones to watch players. Although the OTWs, are nice and they are really really cool i think i'd rather take my chance and gamble on a road to a knockout personally especially seeing some of those leaks that run in there so that's kind of what i'm going to do today with that but i do think a lot of people today will take the tradable rewards because it's the early game and it's actually it's not a bad time to take tradable rewards at all because if you do hit something big coins are king and coins are so important especially in this early stage of the game that it's probably worth taking the tradable stuff if you don't have a ton of coins just on the off chance they hit something good but i'm looking at a lot of these ones to watch cards because today on thursday we will have two options for them two time frames for them to be supplied for the last time that they are in packs and investing in these cards out of packs is a very real scenario it's going to be on a card specific basis um but a lot of these guys you know they're lower rated so they get one upgrade their team wins three games which again the upgrades for these guys i like investing in these more this year than last year because the upgrades hit faster right they don't need five wins out of ten they only need three out of eight and a lot of these guys are already on one win Coming up to this weekend, some of these guys might be on two wins and just a week away from getting that third win and the upgrade. I like investing in these cards a lot more than last year's ones to watches. So what I would do here is take a look on Footbin. If you go to squads, drop down, dynamic players, ones to watch, it'll give you a tracker here with all of the next eight games for each of these players and if they have won their match and kind of what's coming next. So like Lewandowski, one win out of three. They play this weekend against Celta Vigo. And then next weekend, they play in El Clasico for win number three for Barcelona in, you know, match number three out of eight for them. So, you know, cards that have already won their first game, Mane, Lewandowski, um, Holland's already gotten an upgrade, but, you know, he's on his way to another one. If they beat Southampton, they're on two out of three, right? And they're just tearing it up. So who's who's expect them to lose, right? Basically nobody. Um, Rudiger's on zero. Dybala is on one. They have two easier games coming up. Delict has the big game against Dortmund this weekend. Uh, but, you know, that's a winnable game, I think, for them. Di Maria, of course, is an SBC. Kessie, as an SBC, is injured now. But um, his team is still playing, so of course he can get upgrades for that. Gabriel Jesus playing Liverpool this weekend. Big game. Potential to get closer to their uh, two, three win streak there. I would really start to look at the cards that have already won one game. Um, or, you know, even, you know, you look at Liverpool fixtures here. They play Arsenal, Manchester City, and then West Ham. You know, it does quiet down a little bit after you know, these next few matches. But the cards that you're going to want to buy into will want to be the cards that have like the best potential for upgrades sooner rather than later. So that's what I would say when you're looking through ones to watch cards. My personal favorites, I think, would be Dybala, Jesus, Lewandowski. Um, you know, I'd, I'd even throw, I'd throw Delict in the mix. I'd throw Renato Sanchez in the mix. And, you know, you might as well club stock, um, you know, a Bergwijn. He's been scoring a lot of goals. Ajax can easily win games. Uh, and, you know, you might as well club stock um, at Tyler Adams as well because these guys with just one or two upgrades are going to be completely different cards. And if their team can rattle off a few wins, these cards are going to look really insane, really, really fast. Even Anthony too, right? I know they United lost their first game or they didn't get a win. So he's 230,000 coins. You know, I think that a lot of these cards have great, great potential. If it's one that you want for your team, I know they're the same stats as the gold card right now besides Holland, but that upgrade potential is there. And, you know, today should be an opportunity to snag some of these guys. Again, you have two windows of supply today. The first one being the rewards period, right? So, you know, I like the rewards period for some of these cards. I really like marquee matchups, though, as a better time period to maybe pick up uh, on a few of these guys. The only thing I would say if you're waiting for marquee matchups is there might be more competition because I think there's going to be more people waiting there to buy a few of these. So I'd be I'd be a little careful with that. Um, but again, with a big promo upcoming as well, you know, some people may not be looking to invest, but if you time it right and you find a good price, you find a low price, I think you'll end up making some good profit on some of these road, uh, on some of these ones to watch cards. It's just going to be on a player by player basis. And you know, they're the ones that are a little more rare than others, like this Lewandowski. Yes, you have to shell out more cash for him, but really, really good card potential to upgrade scoring a ton of goals in real life. So you can't go wrong with, especially if it's for your team. Picking up one or two of these. Of course, if there's a huge market crash this weekend, those cards would be affected. But, you know, 
an out of packs card this early in the game with the potential to upgrade, especially as soon as these ones to watch cards do. I think there's potential for a good investment there and potential to make coins. So that's why I wanted to talk about that. Now, let's talk a little bit more about the rest of the market today. I'm pretty liquid right now, and we did end up making some coins. I sold a lot of cards yesterday, made some good flips on Milinkovic Savage. I bought them at like 72 to 75, only two of them, but sold at 85 and 90. Sold my Govu. He got me the 50 and 100K packs. I made like 5K on him. It was really not that big of a flip. Um, a lot of the market yesterday was really stagnant. Like, uh, you definitely saw prices drop off a bit and it's not like they really rebounded either. It's definitely like what we talked about in yesterday's video was I really, I really thought you were going to start to see the first bit of, you know, some panic selling and some listing like Youngman son was in the one seventies and now he's under 160 K sitting at like 159. So I think you could see a small surge up on the market today after rewards, but it would be small. it would be quick. And you're going to have people that are going to be looking to sell any cards that they buy today uh, to use. You're, you're going to be you're going to be seeing those people probably look to sell them before marquee matchups drops because they know their supply that's going to hit the market today at uh, 6 p.m. content with marquee matchups. So if you're going to do any sort of like flipping today, I'd say keep it to rare cards, keep it to very popular cards and make those flips quick and try to get those in and out um, at least a couple hours before marquee matchups drops because once you get closer and closer to mms you're just gonna have a bunch of people undercutting each other um trying to get their cards out because they know that they could drop uh with the supply coming with those sbcs so that's what i would say for that i'll try i'll probably try to get a couple cards here and just you know at least take a punt and making some coins today on a couple rare cards maybe an inform or something like that or or a hero or, or a rare uh, gold card or, or something along those lines. So definitely watch out for that today. Last thing is we should have our last piece of content related to ones to watch and it would be a Raheem Sterling SBC. Um, watch out for his gold card. This is what I'll say. Think about Kessie. Think about um, the Rashford player of the month. After those guys got SBCs, their gold cards got destroyed on the market because the SBC was decent value. Sterling today, I hope his SBC is less than 200,000 coins. EA might overprice it a bit, but four-star skills, three-star weak foot, definitely really, really good with the dribbling, not lengthy body type by any means, more explosive. Um, but just watch out for a Sterling today. You know, it, it probably will be on the more expensive end of a card SBC-wise. One thing I would say is watch your fodder market today. Some of your fodder cards are down a little bit, um, especially like your 87s and 88s, because you saw these cards rise up very, very nicely last week after the Kessie, after the um, other SBCs that we had that required some 88 pluses in them. So if these cards dip at all today, specifically 88s, EA has been using 88s pretty often, you know, like they went from 27K to 22 yesterday. If these guys go down at all, and if they get supplied at all during rewards today, it might be an opportunity to buy a few of those. And if the Sterling SBC is very well priced, you know, club stocks on those guys for today on Thursday, Sterling gets dropped and maybe they go up a little bit, maybe not a ton, but you know, you could see a few of those cards go up if Sterling is good value. And of course, after people get rewards, they go out and they do other SBCs. So people that are maybe gonna go and do Rashford, people that are maybe gonna go and do Tiago Silva, um, or if they don't know that Valverde is leaked and getting a card, they might go and do the player of the month. So I think you could see a little bit of a fodder rise today after rewards and before uh, the content drop and maybe a little bit after the content drop too. You will just have to see. So that's kind of the market outlook and what's going on right now. Of course, big day tomorrow on Friday. We're going to watch the market today. Try to make a few coins. Uh, it's going to get crazy these next couple of days. So buckle in. It's going to be a lot of fun. If you enjoyed today's video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate's Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.